your brain on music. To be exact, percussionist Mickey Hart's brain, as he sees it react to music, so medical researchers can identify which rhythms might be able to treat different parts of the brain. This mystery mind that we have can be used for other things than dancing uh, and pleasure. It can be used as medicine, and that's where this is all leading. As the drummer for the legendary Grateful Dead, Mickey Hart has always believed in the healing power of music. When I played a drum for my grandmother, who had Alzheimer's, she spoke my name. She hadn't spoken in a year. That was power. Accompanied by neurologist and professor, Dr. Adam Ghazali from the University of California, San Francisco, and some advanced visualization technologies, originally developed for video games by Silicon Valley graphics company, NVIDIA, this unique duo is hoping to validate the science behind music therapy as a healing tool for brain injuries and diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's. Mickey's wearing an EEG cap here, and each of these electrodes are detecting those very subtle signals um, that have rhythmic activity being generated by the neurons in his brain. And how the brain works in its highest form is that it communicates with, with each other through different rhythmic oscillations. Okay, so this is live recording right now for Mickey's brain. When I see that, I play into it, and I try to entrain with it, and I try to be in rhythm with it. So I am involved in a dynamic interplay with my brain. For the most part, we tend to study brain data after we collected it. Where we want to go, and that's where we're working with NVIDIA in a collaboration to use the graphic processing unit to get better and better real-time data. Where CUDA and the GPU really uh, excels is at these very intense computations that use like large matrices. How we'll be using this will be in a, in a sense a supercomputer in itself. So once we actually pull this off and show that we can do this, every lab would be able to, to accomplish this without very, very expensive equipment. Absolutely no doubt in my mind, once we decode this music and learn how to use it on a daily basis, you will be able to prescribe music for certain kinds of ailments. They're taking their music and their science on the road this summer for the Mickey Hart Band's Super Organism Tour and new album. For the legions of deadheads who came of age with the Grateful Dead's music and the light shows they pioneered in the 60s at the original Fillmore in San Francisco, it's back to the future of rock music. Let's